Hey Samir. Good to see you. Hello Lisa. What a pleasant surprise. Happy to see you. So how are the things at your end? The tech summit we have attended last quarter was great. I am happy to tell you that I am able to implement a few aspects from the takeaways of that summit. Indeed. That was a great learning and happy to be part of it. Hmm. Next month we have another tech summit. You are coming, right? I need to think about it. Why? What happened? We are facing some issues in our project. There is a gap between technical and non-technical teams in the project. There are communication gaps between technical and functional teams, lack of clarity in the requirements, poor test coverage, late defect identification and lack of collaboration. Oh thoughts sad to hear the things. Why can't you implement BDD in your project? BDD. What is BDD? BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development. It is a software development methodology that aims to bridge the gap between business stakeholders and technical teams by focusing on the behavior and desired outcomes of the software. BDD encourages collaboration and communication between different roles involved in software development, such as business analysts, developers, and testers. It promotes the use of natural language specifications to describe the behavior of the software in a way that is easily understandable by all stakeholders. That's great to hear about BDD. We are using Python language in our project. Can we implement BDD framework in Python? Certainly. To apply BDD in Python, you can use a framework called Behave. Behave is a BDD-style testing framework for Python that allows you to write tests in a behavior-driven manner. Wow, that's amazing. How difficult is it to install and implement this Behave? It's as easy as Pi. Use pip install Behave and you are ready to go. Is it that easy? Tell me more about it. Let's go to the workplace. In BDD, tests are defined in feature files written in a natural language format. Create a new feature file with a feature extension, for example, myfeature.feature. In this file, describe the desired behavior of your software using Gherkin syntax. Feature, login functionality as a user I want to be able to log into the system. So that I can access my account scenario, successful login given I am on the login page when I enter valid credentials then I should be logged in successfully. This looks like plain English. How can we call our class methods and test our functionality? Step definitions map the steps in your feature file to Python code. Create a Python file, for example, mysteps.py, and implement the step definitions. That looks easy. So what all advanced options Behave has? Behave allows you to assign tags to your scenarios and features using the aptognum syntax. Tags provide a way to categorize and filter your tests. For example, you can use tags to mark tests as smoke tests or regression tests and run only a specific category of tests. Behave Prove it as hooks that allow you to execute code at various stages of the test execution life cycle. Hooks enable you to set up preconditions, perform cleanup tasks, or customize the test execution flow. There are different types of hooks, such as before all, before feature, after feature, before scenario, after scenario, etc. Behave allows you to define step parameters in your feature file and pass them to your step definitions. Step parameters make your step definitions more flexible and reusable. Behave supports data tables, which allow you to pass tabular data as part of a step in a Gherkin scenario. This is useful when you need to work with structured data or perform parameterized testing. Behave supports scenario outlines, which allow you to define a template scenario with placeholders and provide multiple sets of values to create concrete scenarios. This is useful when you have similar scenarios that differ only in their data. The background keyword in Behave allows you to define steps that are common to all scenarios within a feature file. This helps in reducing redundancy by defining shared setup steps. That's wonderful. So how these BDDs differ from TDDs? I mean, normal test-driven approach? This is a good question. 
Behave is a behavior-driven development BDD, testing framework that focuses on describing and testing the behavior of a software system from a user's perspective. It encourages collaboration between stakeholders and provides a common language for communication. BDD tests are typically written in a natural language format using feature files and executed against the entire system or large portions of it. Behave tests tend to be more high level and are often used for integration testing or end-to-end -end testing. On the other hand, unit testing is a testing approach that focuses on testing individual units or components of a software system in isolation. Unit tests are usually written by developers and are aimed at verifying the correctness of specific functions, classes, or methods. Unit tests are typically more detailed, low-level, and granular focusing on the behavior of individual units or modules. While BEHAVE can be used for testing individual units, it is more commonly used for higher-level testing, such as integration testing or testing the system as a whole. Unit testing frameworks like Unitist or Pitist are more commonly used for writing and executing unit tests in Python. Noted, ma'am. Is there a way to integrate cluster testing with BDD BEHAVE? Certainly yes. It is possible to integrate cluster testing with Behave in a PySpark project. Ensure that your testing environment is properly configured to connect and interact with the Spark cluster. This includes setting the necessary Spark configuration properties and providing the cluster's connection details. In your step definitions, define the necessary steps to interact with the Spark cluster for cluster-specific testing scenarios. These steps might include launching the Spark application, submitting jobs to the cluster, monitoring job execution, retrieving job results, or inspecting cluster logs. Within your feature files, you can write scenarios that involve cluster-specific behavior. For example, you might have scenarios that test the scalability of your PySpark application by processing larger datasets on the cluster or verify the fault tolerance capabilities by simulating failures in the cluster environment. Generate or prepare the required test data and expected results for your cluster tests. This can involve creating input data files, defining expected output files, or setting up test datasets in a distributed storage system. When running your behave tests, ensure that you properly configure the Spark session or context to use a cluster environment. This typically involves setting the appropriate Spark configuration properties and ensuring the necessary dependencies and resources are available. After running your cluster tests, you can monitor the execution of Spark jobs on the cluster and validate the results against the expected outcomes. Behave provides assertions and reporting mechanisms that can be utilized to check the correctness of your PySpark application's behavior. By integrating cluster testing with Behave, you can not only validate the functionality of your PySpark application, but also ensure its performance and scalability in a distributed environment. This allows you to uncover any potential issues or bottlenecks that may arise when running your application on a Spark cluster. Thanks a lot Lisa for the detailed information on BDD. I will further probe into this and I will make sure to implement Behave in our project. Bye then. Good to go. Let's meet again in next month's Tech Summit.